video is specific to the 2010B Deborah Marquette rhetorical analysis passage um, and just the introduction. So you could write a two-sentence introduction for this essay. If you looked at the introductions that I wrote for you on Friday of last week and Wednesday of this week, I wrote about eight or nine, I think, um, most of them were two sentences. The two things you need to include in the Marquette essay are the, intro are, I'm sorry, are the rhetorical situation and then her main idea about the Midwest. Now, the prompt above the passage tells you the exact rhetorical situation. So everything you need to write that sentence, you could write it before you even write the passage. Then the prompt, and it usually will do this, then the prompt tells you what her topic is going to be, but it doesn't tell you what her opinion on that topic is going to be. It tells you she's going to talk about the Midwest, but it doesn't say what you're going, what she's going to say about it, right? So you can't isolate the main idea yet. Now, it's pretty obvious as soon as you start reading the passage that she's talking kind of, eh, not bad, but she's putting down the Midwest a little bit, okay? And I kept reading it thinking, mm, I bet she takes a turn. I bet she ends up saying the Midwest is kind of good after all. And she kind of does in the last paragraph of the passage. The last paragraph sort of changes everything that she had said before it. And she has a little bit, it, it's not positive, but it's, it, it softens the negativity that had come, that had come before it. So you might not be able to isolate the main point until you've read the entire passage.